Good morning, I'm Tiara and you're watching Verses of the Day with T. Today's verse comes from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Before we get into the initial reading of God's word, we pray. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Lord, we love you and we trust you and we just want to say thank you. For all you have done and all you will do. Lord, please continue to keep molding us and shaping us into the sons and daughters you've called us to be. Please continue to remove all people, places, and things that are hindering us from reaching our destiny. Anoint me to speak and anoint those on the other side of the screen to hear. Lord, we trust you. We love you. We just want to say thank you. Amen. All right, guys. Uh, I know it seemed like I was gone for a couple of days, but like I told you guys, if the verses don't really move me and don't give me much to go off of, I'm not going to waste your time. I read them, but they may not always give me a word. I uh, got a lot going on right now, as does everyone else. I got a baby girl that's turning 11 next week. I'm getting ready for that. My birthday is two weeks after that. You know, just maintaining everything. Just got through a snowstorm, all of that, but. I'm not making excuses. I'm human. When I have a word, I have a word. When I have a verse I can run off of, I'm going to run with it. So, I haven't abandoned you guys. I've forgotten about you. All right, Deuteronomy 6, 5 says, And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. Now, this, you would think that's self-explanatory. But, just like... In other areas of our life, people, let's take an example, want to lose weight. But they're not wholehearted about it. So they're still eating whatever they want. They don't want to work out. They won't, don't want to put in the effort. Faith without works fall on deaf ears. So if you say you love God, you got to show him. How do you show him? It's easy. Acknowledge him. Spend time with him. Talk about him. Tell other people about him, how he's been good to you, how, about your testimony, things you've overcome, things that people thought that were going to take you out, and you're still here to tell it. All that is a blessing. I like to call myself a living testimony. If you got certain areas that trauma or things that happen to you, um, maybe I could have been through them and I can tell you how, you know, that affected me or how, look. I'm a big Lion King fan, so as you as this ministry continues to grow and you continue to talk to me, you're going to hear me talk about the Lion King a lot. My daughter that passed away is now. I love my dog right here, Simba. I love the Lion King. It has some very great messages, and it's all about the circle of life, the center, the head. All of that is God, and then he lives in you. So if he lives in you, you got to represent. You got to show love, search him with your whole heart. It's not just on Sundays. It's not just on Easter, Mother's Day, Christmas, and New Year's, whatever. It's an all-time thing. It's an ongoing relationship. That's why we're growing and glowing in Christ together. Love God with all your heart. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As you show him... How you don't play about him and how serious you are about him and your relationship with him. He's going to show up and show out in your life in ways that you could never think or imagine. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Please have a good day on purpose. And if you're seeing this message as an indication that God still has a purpose and a plan for your life. Have a great day and I'll see y'all soon.